guys, it's Stephanie. Today, I'm bringing out my Twilight shirt because we are doing my fall 2024 TBR. I know fall isn't hasn't started yet, it's still August when I'm filming this, but I'm just so excited for fall that I can't stop thinking about it. I have been looking at my shelves, looking at all of the book options that I have for fall and just getting excited. So I just wanted to tell you what I'm going to be reading this fall. Also in September, I will be participating in the Phantom Readathon. The Phantom Romance Readathon, I think is what it's called. I'll put the graphic right here. This readathon is a Phantom of the Opera themed readathon. And I just found it randomly on YouTube and I decided to join. So I'm in the Discord and everything. So it's been really fun. So basically we have to read romance books and you get points and things like that. I'll link the videos to all the rules in the description box if you guys want to check it out because it's been so much fun talking to everyone. But this readathon is taking place all throughout September. So... The first few books I'm going to be talking to you about are books that I'm going to be reading in the Phantom of the Upper Readathon in September. The first book that I have on my fall TBR is Aragon by Christopher Paolini. The reason why I have Aragon on my TBR is because I am actually buddy reading this with one of my friends, my friend Kiara. I've mentioned her a few times on here. We're buddy reading this together and I figured that a nice little cozy fantasy in September would be really fun, like a good entry point to fall reads, you know? I don't know if this is necessarily cozy, like I mentioned actually, this is a children's book. I have no idea what it's about other than dragons, and I'm very excited to read it because it is made for children and there's a lot of space on the page. I think I'll be able to do it for this readathon. Yeah, so Aragon by Christopher Paulini. The second book I'm reading for the Phantom of the Opera readathon is Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. The reason why I picked this one is because this is actually a Phantom of the Opera retelling, which I had no idea. I just had it on my shelves because I love the cover. I love the Night Circus and I thought that this was giving the Night Circus, so that's why I bought it. Apparently it's a Phantom of the Opera retelling, which is even better because I freaking love the Phantom of the Opera. Obviously that's why I'm doing this readathon. Because it is a retelling, I get extra points for my team for the readathon, so I think that's great. And I've been wanting to read it, so I'm very excited for that. Like literally, I'm so excited for this. Ever since I bought it, I've been wanting to read it. Thankfully I have a reason to. The next book, <laughs> Hayden. If you're watching this, which you are not, I am finally reading The Dark Tower by Stephen King. My friend Hayden gave me this book so that I can read it because this is his favorite Stephen King, his favorite book series. I still haven't read it, so I'm going to read it for this readathon because I told him I would. Also, it's not as long as I thought it would be, and the words are pretty big. And there's a lot of space around the page, so I think I'll be fine. Honestly, this would be my first Stephen King novel. So I have no idea if that's like good or bad. I don't know if this is a good entry point, but I've heard a lot of good things. Even Ashlyn Cayley's husband, Ian, I think is his name. He talks about loving Stephen King in general, but also The Dark Tower. So I'm very excited to get into this one. Also, the vibes of it seem very fall. And if it's fantasy, best time to read it is during the fall. Because the Phantom of the Opera readathon is a romance readathon, I had to include like a strictly romance book and that is Promises and Pomegranates. I don't know what trope this is. You get more points depending on the tropes, you know? I really don't know what this is about. I don't even think I've read the back of it, but I do know that it's just <laughs> a pure romance book if you get catch my drift with that, so. Um, oh! It's a Hades and Persephone retelling. Wait, I think like I knew that, but I just didn't. Wow. Okay, that makes me even more excited to read it. So yes, this is going to be great. I also think it's going to be a really good palette cleanser that I could read while I'm reading some like higher fantasy books. So Promises and Pomegranates by Sav R. Miller. Because the Phantom of the Opera is a gothic story movie, novel. <laughs> One of the ways to get more points is to read a gothic piece of literature. So I decided to pick up The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I've had this on my TBR forever. What a time to read it than now because it is gothic. It will give me more points for my team and I've been wanting to read it for forever. I got kind of intimidated by this just because of the fact that it's a classic. The language is a little bit harder to understand, but I think if I had an audiobook 
and I was listening to it as I read, it would be easier for me. I'm very excited to read this. I've been wanting to read it forever. I read a lot of Nathaniel Hawthorne in school when I was in college, so I'm very excited to dive back into that. So The Scarlet Letter. And the last book that's on my Phantom of the Opera TBR for September is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. I am so excited to read this. The only reason why I bought this book is because people said that this was like Daughter of the Pirate King. And if you guys didn't know, that's one of my favorite books like literally ever. It's so good and I think about it all the time. I needed something similar. I don't know anything about it. I only know that it has something to do with like ocean pirates, mermaids, things like that. And that's all I really want to know. Um, I'm guessing that there's going to be some sort of romance in here that can gain me more points for this readathon, but I'm mainly just putting this on my TBR because it interests me so much that I just want to read it and I think fall is the best time for me to do that. So yes, All the Stars and Teeth. Those are all the books that I had on my Phantom TBR for September. The rest of these books are for October. The first one is The Maltese Falcon by Deshiel Hammett. Sorry, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I don't think I did, but this is apparently like a classic detective novel. I don't know if it's considered the first detective novel, but something like that. I'm very excited to read this. It's more of a classic, so I might read this with my friend Kiara, but we'll have to see. But yes, I really want to read this. I've also had this on my TBR for years. The second book I have is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This one is being read this year. I have been wanting to read this book forever. I've been trying to read this for years because Chloe Bunny loves the movie and she recently read the book and she loved it and ever since then I've been like I have to read this. Obviously Gone Girl is like a mystery thriller. I just know that it's a mystery thriller about a little girl, probably the, a girl that got, goes missing and that just sounds so much fun so I'm gonna read it. And obviously this will be so good for the fall time, especially October, because it's ingenuous, terrifying, razor sharp, wickedly clever, sinister, and menacing. The next book I want to read in October is A Deadly Educate A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This one might be one that I push over to November depending on what I get to, because this one could be a November slash October read in my mind. I've never read it so I don't know if that's true but just based off of the cover and stuff like a magical school that these kids go to and they have some sort of abilities that they I think they have to like kill each other for it. I don't really know what's happening here. Again I've seen this everywhere but Ashlyn Kaylee just read this and she DNF'd it. She said in her video that a lot of people didn't really like this so I'm kind of excited to see what I think about it. Again I'm just going into it blind. I'm excited about it. It's also pretty short, so it shouldn't be too bad. If you guys have been watching my channel since the last time I filmed this video, you would know, one, that I was wearing this Twilight shirt a year ago for my fall TBR video, <laughs> and you would know that I had this on my fall TBR last year, which is Dissolution by CJ Sansom. I need to read this. I picked this up solely because it looked interesting to me. Basically, this is about the established Church of England in 1537, which is the Catholic Church, and some treason and embezzlement and murders and stuff that happened during that time. And just the cover of it just looks so interesting to me, and it just screams fall time, and like that setting of England is just perfect for this time of year. So I think I'm going to... Oh, not think. I will be reading this book because I need to. This one is probably going to be the highest on my TBR because I just need to read it because I've had it for so long and I want to read it. I don't know why I have it. So, CJ Sansom, I'm coming for you. The next book I have is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. Again, this one might be also November. I'm not sure exactly when I will get to this. Fall time is a good time in my brain to read like darker things or things that I wouldn't want to read like when it's sunny out. I don't know how to describe it. This book isn't dark in the way that like a thriller or mystery is. This one's dark because just the content is kind of hard to get through. I don't really want to talk about what this book is about for fear of triggering someone, but if you guys want to look up trigger warnings and then check it out yourself if you're interested. But just keep in mind that this has some dark topics between like 
you know, like a teacher and a student type of thing. So it's like a psychological, the psychological dynamics of that type of relationship. But, oh, interesting, Stephen King actually wrote something. Let me see what he says. He says, My Dark Vanessa is a hard story to read and a harder one to put down. A well-constructed package of dynamite. Okay, Stephen King. Okay, now that makes me even more excited to read it. I'm hoping that I will like it and that it will explore these topics in a way that is tasteful. So, very excited for that one. The next one I have is Their Vicious Games by Joelle Wellington. This is actually the art copy because I did get an arc of this and I still haven't read it, but it has come out just in case you're wondering. It came out July last year. I'm so behind. It says it's an Ace of Spades meets Squid Game with a sprinkling of The Bachelor in the YA thriller debut everyone will be talking about. So it has The Bachelor, Ace of Spades, and Squid Game. I'm kind of, I don't know where they're going with that, but I read the first page in my last video, or no, two videos ago, and it intrigued me a lot. It seems super interesting, and I'm very excited to read it. So basically, you're at a school with a bunch of these girls, like a rich academy school. Honestly, that's enough for me to want to read this, and even the cover is just very intriguing. And the fact that it's YA shouldn't take me too long to read, and again lots of space on the page. The last book that I have on my TBR is actually a romance. Yay! And it is The Spells We Cast by Jason Dune. This is a queer romance. Yes, it's for fans of Cemetery Boys and Carry On. So that's awesome. I have not read either of those, but I have read some works by Rainbow Rowell before. I liked fangirl, so yes, I'm very excited to read this. I started reading this last year, but I couldn't finish it because of stuff with myself. It wasn't the book. The book was actually really great. So we're following like a little cowboy character, and then this guy, who I think is the one who has magic. Someone has magic. I forget exactly what's going on here. This is just a perfect book to read. In October and I'm very excited to read it again all these books I have not read so I'm not gonna give you like a great synopsis of what they're about because I don't want to I don't like reading the backs of things because sometimes they spoil it just looks really great this is also an arc but I think it's out already yeah it came out last year well thank you guys for watching today's video these are all the books I am planning to read in September and in October I will be weekly vlogging or trying to weekly vlog the Phantom of the Opera readathon so if you guys are interested in that stick around for that but that'll be all of September again I'll link all of the information to that readathon down below if you guys want to join. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.